the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, says his administration will negotiate with agitators and adopt the carrot and stick approach to reverse insecurity trend in the country if voted into office. Mr. Obi, at a town hall meeting, promised to sit down and discuss with every agitator in every part of the country. He also promised that the constitution will be amended to introduce community policing, saying there is no reason for Nigeria not to have um, local, state, federal and national policing systems to cope with the new insecurity trend. In Adamawa State, a support group, Northern Young Professionals for Tinubu, has promised the presidential candidate of All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, of over 200,000 votes in the state. The group, which inaugurated its campaign office ahead of Monday's flag off of the presidential and governorship campaigns of the All Progressives Congress in the state, said Ashiwaji Tinubu has the capacity to reposition Nigeria for greatness. At the event, the national vice chairman of APC Northeast Zone asked a party faithful to rally round all party candidates in the February elections. By the grace of God, we are going to deliver uh, this mandate. And it's all about strategic alliance. Because power is never a self carte. Nobody will give you power, you take power. So we we'll look at the uh, alliances, that which one is going to give us uh, the, the right at the end of the tunnel, and we are going to follow. And we have seen Azwajan Bonatinobu and Kashi Shetima is the main alliance. It's a consensus within the elite of Nigeria. It's only a, a minority with dissenting voice. So we are going to follow the majority and will deliver the mandate. All the professional groups, whether at the bottom or at the top, we are conversing support for our candidate, Aswaju Bola Metinibu and Kashim Shatima. We are here today to give our uh, letters out to all the local government coordinators. We are going to give all the 12 local government coordinators to go to each local government and we expect at least in each local government we're going to gather 110,000 votes for the 21 local governments we are hoping to get 210,000 votes through this organization NYPT. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Adama State uh, chapter rally for the campaigns and we, are, we feel it's high time we should just open the office here in Adama too. Let's turn to Delta State, where the vice presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Ifai Okowa, and the state governorship candidate, Sharif Oborowari, will be attending the Ethiop East campaign rally scheduled to hold at Isiokolo Pavi Pavilion on Tuesday. The party, in a statement by the Assistant Deputy Director of Media and Publicity of the State Campaign Council, Fred Ogenesiwi, said the rally will showcase the political mobilization strength of the 11 wards in the local government in appreciation of Governor Kowa's good governance and for the numerous quality projects executed in Ethiop East constituency. Mr. Oganesiwe expressed confidence that Ethiop East will deliver all PDP candidates on the agreed voting arrangements, noting that opposition parties do not have the political structures to win elections in the local government. And now to Ogun State, where former Governor Benga Daniel is asking political gladiators to forge a united front in the interest of the state as the February general election approaches. Mr. Daniel, who spoke at the 18th edition of his annual Thanksgiving program in Shagamu, said all aggrieved parties must unite and work together for the peace and progress of the state. On his part, the state governor, Dakwa Biodun, promised to continue to be tolerant and run an all-inclusive administration. All of us, for the sake of our state, must unite to put the state forward. When it was our turn, Ogun State was nearly a one-party state. Because I think that is the kind of thing that brings unity. So this one that we are doing, we must make sure that we return to status quo ante. This is the first time in the history of this state where you have all the living governors in one party. It has never happened before. When you were saying there's no competition, obviously there's no competition. How can there be competition? There must be something we are doing right. If myself, Excellency OGD, Baba Oshoba, and my predecessor. <laughs> 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 
we know those who are with us 100 percent OGD, we know those who are with us 50 percent And still talking politics, Oyo State Governor Shea Makinde says his administration will set up the Rural Electrification Board to address power supply in Ibarakba zone of the state. The governor made this known while addressing thousands of supporters at the state campaign flag off at Ibora. Shea Makinde promised he would ensure Ibarakba people are fully carried along on the Rural Electrification Board, which he said would begin very soon. This is coming a few days after he officially flagged off his second term campaign, tagged Omitutu 2.0, in Ibadan, where he hosted the chief five governors of the People's Democratic Party. <laughs> Within the next one and a half weeks, I set up Rural Electrification Board. But what I want to do is to be able to do it. I want to be able to do it. I want to be able to do it. I want to be able to And now to Kwara State, where leader of the State House of Assembly, Abubakar Magaji Olawoyi, died in the early hours of today during a brief illness. According to a statement by the chairman of Kwara State House of Assembly Committee on Information, Awul Ola Ayokunle, the late Olawoyi will be buried according to the Islamic Rite later this evening at his Magajin Geri family house, Suliri Ilori. He was aged 57. Let's turn to health matters. Irregularities in the health sector have caused a lot of hardship for medical personnel and those in rural communities of Kebu State. Now, though the government has promised to improve the quality of health care in the state, it is not yet Uhuru as the search for health workers and adequate supply, supplies continues. Sarah Yeko reports from one of the dilapidated health facilities where one man works tirelessly to cater to the health needs of his kinsmen. Um, we'll have this report, and after this report, we'll bring you business updates. Stay with us. If this is your first time in Kebi State, you can easily forget about the insecurity plague in the state and be enthralled by the beautiful landscape, culture, and box. Strolling on the streets with your guides, giving us an opportunity to view Suru Town from an elevated position. <laughs> A thrilling moment for me and my new spectators. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Known as the land of equity, Kebi State is struggling to live up to its name. Not everyone has access to basic amenities like good roads, portable water, education and health care. Suru local government is one of the 21 local government areas of Kebi State, northwest Nigeria, with about 40 health facilities for a projected population of 253,700. We are in Bandan, a settlement that has enjoyed the services of one medical personnel who has stayed at the Tindafe Health Post for 11 years. Against all hordes and unfavorable conditions, using whatever medical supplies it can lay its hands on to treat patients. According to an online medical search portal, the hospital book, this facility is listed as a health post but in reality, it has become inhabitable over the years, with no ceilings, beds, drugs, electricity, and medical staff. The building looks deserted. Mm. Mm. Mona <laughs> 
Onde kama tume kwenye zamu kwenye onde zamu tura jiji kila kumu zamu tura shiji kila wana shini magungu nenda mukite mka mrasa la fiadi. Wana kujira kujira aisi ni onde kwenye zamu shiji kuli bienda shiki atauda ma shiki sana dia dia abu bon insha Allah hongo kudu muna di muna hakuli muna managing dia abu bon suka kusanchi. Administering COVID-19 vaccines has been difficult for the health workers due to their own paid allowances. Sikia muna yang alura mkwa vini na itini. Kumamu yishi tu kasantua ando loka chi ili yanda susu kashiri ya chi wazasu biyati na kusibiyaba ansa mojo ngota uku. Ba wani bayani. Tu shesa kwa yaga sikia akada akatadishi. So till now they've not paid you? Nga sikia babi ya wangu. Do people want, do people around here, do they want the vaccine? Nga sikia hanyo zumuta ni naso suna komplain ya musu. Tu kaya aiki anche du sati za abi yaka kukumo ba andu wata gula. Dekarishi anzo anki biyanka. Tu. Weeks after our visit to the facility, the government has started renovating the place, but no word on employing more workers, unpaid COVID allowances or salary increase. In the meantime, Yakubu is braving the odds, giving support to needy residents and hoping for urgent intervention from the government. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Suru, Kebbi State.